Welcome to this edition of NFSTC's Forensics Update. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, known as NIST, is working to make it easier for forensics examiners to match a set of fingerprints with those on file in any database around the world. NIST Law Enforcement Standards Office has partnered with Nobles, a nonprofit research corporation, to implement the Extended Feature Set, a standard method for encoding fingerprint, palm print, or footprint features, regardless of what fingerprint identification system, or APHIS, is used. Developers hope this new feature set will eliminate the need to re-encode each print whenever it's compared using a different APHIS. Faster print comparison could speed up investigations and produce more accurate results. NFSTC recently gave community, law enforcement, and military leaders an up-close look at the high-tech side of forensic science at CSI Night in Largo, Florida. Lucky participants from around the Tampa Bay area attended this invite-only event, getting hands-on demonstrations and an up-close look at emerging forensic science technology. If you are unable to attend the event, or you'd like to take a look back at CSI Night, click on the embedded link for a video recap of the evening's festivities. Since 9-11, voice scientists have been searching for a way to fingerprint the human voice. The development of speaker recognition systems is now bringing the possibility of voice prints enticingly close and has investigation implications. These automated systems use a background population of voices to decipher the similarities or differences between the voice of a criminal and that of a suspect in as little as 15 minutes, a task that would usually take a language specialist 15 hours to complete. This new system is rapidly growing in popularity, as various versions have already been implemented by police agencies in the U.S., Spain, and Germany. These days, social media is everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and countless others have infiltrated every aspect of our culture, and forensics is no different. Information collected through social media has become an important part of many investigations. Social media companies are developing tools for information collection that have direct forensic applications. For example, Facebook has developed a method to download users' information, including all posts, messages, chat conversations, videos, and photos, as well as IP addresses during logins. Twitter has added a tool to download all of a user's tweets into a searchable format. And Google has a built-in tool called Vault that stores a user's information across all Google applications. As other social sites develop similar tools, the value of social media for criminal investigations continues to rise. Blood can run, but it can't hide. This week's Technique of the Week is yet another method used for detecting blood called the Kasselmeyer Test. Click the embedded link to get an inside look at our scientists here at NFSTC as they demonstrate this important technique. Well, that's it for this edition of NFSTC's Forensics Update. But before we go, we'd like to send out a special thanks to the more than 5,000 people who have visited Forensic Science Simplified, a website designed to simplify forensics for non-scientists. If you'd like to see it for yourself, log on to www.forensicsciencesimplified.org. Until next time, I'm Bill Duffin for NFSTC.